adequate acceleration is achieved by an accelerated increase in speed. If earlier the maximum torque was at 4,000 RPM, now it is at 6,000 RPM. Accordingly, if earlier the speed during acceleration was 2 to 3,000, now it is 3 to 4. Shumka is better, so the engine speed is felt only by looking at the tachometer. The rest of the engine is the same. Suspension. Running Toyota RAV4 in the new body has become softer. If the third rav chick in the pits quite noticeably bludgeon, then the fourth does not transmit blows to the salon. The pits are now on their own, and the body itself. Of course, within reasonable limits. Everything else is the same. I like the look of the car. Outside, the restyling changes compared to the fourth generation are purely cosmetic and only in terms of plastic. But the way they remade the face and rear of the machine pleased me. Review of the new Toyota RAV4 2017 with the CBT 2.0, 146 horsepower. Transmission. As for the variator, I think this type of transmission is one of the best, you just need to use it wisely. When the car starts, acceleration is smooth, without jerks, as if the trolley bus is picking up speed. If you need to accelerate faster, then just press the gas pedal a little harder, and acceleration is also smooth. Compared to the pre-styling version on the new RAV4, the suspension has become much better, the noise insulation has improved, the quality of the plastic has changed a little for the better, but still not good enough. The Corolla had a higher quality of plastic in the cabin. Engine. 2 liters is enough for normal movement in the city and on the highway. You need to understand that these are not all such premium SUVs and you should not expect miracles from him. It should be noted interior. It is not huge, but spacious enough. But with such a spacious interior, one minus looms, it's rather long warm-up. The engine is 2 ARV, inline, 4-cylinder with 180 horsepower, and consuming 95 gasoline. Consumption now I have in the region of 10 L slash 100 kilometers, and the maximum was about 16 to 17 liters with frequent stops and short rushes. After the break-in, a drop in consumption was noticeable by about 0.5 to 1 L, and the engine itself became more responsive. By the way, such an expense is also due to the fact that there is a six-speed automatic, and not a variator. There are no complaints about the box at all, it switches smoothly quietly and in a timely manner. The engine warms up quickly enough, well, there is enough traction for this car. They say about the 2.0 liter brother that it is rather weak. Suspension. On the suspension, the most important point is Toyota's statement in the official release that they made it softer and more comfortable compared to its predecessor. In fact, it seemed to me that this was nothing more than an advertising slogan. Yes, it copes with irregularities, it cannot be said that you feel every crack in the asphalt, or vice versa, you don't feel anything. But there is still some slight discomfort. I would say that the new Toyota RAV4 2017 is better to drive on a well-rolled gravel road than on Russian asphalt. And another thing is that the front and rear suspension settings are different. Maybe it seems to me, but it feels softer in front and when driving, what gently passed under the front wheels swells a little at the rear. In general, I'm satisfied with the performance of the suspension. The described nuances do not drastically affect comfort, I put up with them. Otherwise, there are no complaints. The brakes are quite effective for such a car. The all-wheel drive system works as it should, but you also need to understand that you do not have a full-fledged Jeep with locks, but just an urban crossover. 